And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored, a heartbreaking loss for hip hop fans. As we reported last night, rapper PNB Rock was shot and killed. In the hours following his death, speculation and the blame game has taken over and made an ugly turn. Now, with many pointing the finger at his girlfriend, they say if she didn't post on social media where they were eating in Los Angeles at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, he'd still be here today. Obviously, you know, the, there are dangers out there when you post your location. But should people be attacking her? Even I think Kodak Black told her to kill herself, which is just irresponsible, mean, and cruel. Obviously, she didn't know that this uh, would lead to a robbery and his death. Uh, but she, he did say in a previous interview and in published uh, posts that he said he told her to stop uh, told her to stop posting their location all the time. So I, I've talked enough. Let's bring you into this this conversation, Karen. You know, as in response to what Kodak Black is saying, and I know that Jay Prince also made a post about this today, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. We can't cancel out this girl who just suffered the loss of watching her boyfriend's uh, murder right before her eyes. And we can't cancel her because she did this. Now, I do want to make it very clear. Anytime that you share your location on social media and you are there at that precise moment in time, you are making yourself a vulnerable victim and putting yourself out there for those unwelcome surprises. It has happened to me. I have shared my location and people have sprung up on me that just, oh, I saw you were here on social media. And I was not expecting for you to show up right here at this very moment in time. So there is a present danger to any time and anyone who does that. It makes you a very willing and vulnerable victim. So you should always log in to your location, post after the fact. Now, there are just different elements to this situation. You know, some people are saying that he was also being flashy in this. But I think at the end of the day, he would have never been um murdered if he wasn't like an easy target mm -hmm. uh, to people who were keeping up with him on social media. But when we we kind of forget that the criminals did it and criminals do what criminals do. You know, we want to blame her. We want to blame him. Why are you out robbing and killing people for jewelry? That's the question that we all need to be asking. Yeah, I think, you know, the downturn of an economy, I think um, inflation, I think unemployment rates, all of these things are contributing to what we're seeing, um, these trends in in crime, um, cr you know, uh, uh, rates in crime increases and murder increases. And that's why, you know, yesterday we talked about the purge. I think just crime overall is at an all-time high. And so anytime that you're making yourself vulnerable, whether it's jewelry, whether it's, uh, you know, driving Flashy a car, car yeah, there are people being followed on the way home. I think all those things make you a vulnerable victim, but there are ways to just kind of control who sees you on social media. And if you are dating a celebrity, I know personally for me, I don't ever post uh, where I'm at, but I kind of ask the people around me or ask my boyfriend, like, hey, are you okay with me posting this? Just because whoever knows that we're together can spring up here at any minute, you know? Exactly. And Jay Prince, uh, founder of rap -A -Lot, made a very important point. He said, you know, we should not just blame his girlfriend. We shouldn't blame his girlfriend. She's already going through a tough time. Mm -hmm. He said, if you're going to be out in public as a rapper with this expensive jewelry out there, have security with you. Have someone there to protect you, to make sure you're okay. But when you go out with tens of thousands of dollars in jewelry, you need to be prepared, prepared for something to go wrong. But in, in my mind, it's still the criminal's fault. Why are you out there stealing from people stuff that you didn't buy, stuff that you did not earn? And I think we as a public tend to forget that we want to blame someone, you know, who may be close to the victim or the victim themselves. But it was the criminals who pulled the trigger in this case. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got to First of all, you know what? Um, this is also a trending topic on social media, just because social media gives a, creates a platform for public opinion. And so now all these 
public opinions are coming together and saying, let's cancel out this girl and let's give the blame to her. And again, it's just, let's, let's look at the crime at hand. This is the reason this is, uh, you know, what provoked, uh, the criminal to do things. And there was just multiple factors. We can't just cancel people out, but you should definitely take safety into consideration security when you're, you know, walking around, um, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of these guys roam with an entourage. I know uh, as being close to some local celebrities, they are never alone. Mm -hmm. Even when we're doing content shoots and when we're doing, you know, client events, they are always, you know, with, with their security. Unfortunate situation.